Yeah, so number 10 has been my favorite number for a long time. I actually liked it originally because of John LeClaire, um, a hockey player for the Flyers. And then once I kind of started to watch professional baseball, I watched Chipper Jones um, and Jones 10 on the back of his jersey, I thought looked good. So I thought that'd be a good idea to put on mine. But um, I've actually been putting in a, a lot of thought about what I would want my number to be if I were um, to be in the big leagues. Um, and I think, I think I would actually choose to go with number 33. My dad's number 33. Um, and obviously Jake Bowers on the Indians is number 10. So I think, I think I might be leaning towards a, a number change to 33, but we'll have to see what, uh, what the situation is if, if I get called up. Um, that's a good, that's a great question for, um, a lot of people that are higher up than I am. I, I have no idea. I think for me, it's kind of just, I just have to, to have fun and play. I can't really worry about what other people think of me, if I'm going to be in the big leagues, if this situation is going to open up and provide an opportunity for me or anything, because if I'm thinking about all that, then I'm not really focused on how I'm playing. And if I'm not focused on how I'm playing, obviously I'll never play in the big leagues. So I, I truly have no idea. I, I hope so. I want to play in the big leagues as soon as possible and help Cleveland win. Um, but I, I guess we'll have to wait and see. Um, I remember, so we, when we clinched, we were in uh, Batavia, New York. I remember that. Um, that was a very cool uh, experience for me. It was my first time clinching in professional baseball. Uh, I got to celebrate, so we had a lot of fun. Batavia, New York wasn't, isn't my favorite spot to play um, exactly, but we had a ton of fun up there. And with that, that team, we had a great group of guys, and I still obviously play with a lot of them. Um, so yeah, that was definitely a very memorable moment for me. And then on top of that, I actually remember very vividly um, when we went to the Cal Ripken Stadium to play the Orioles. I think they're the Aberdeen Firebirds. Ironbirds, yeah. Ironbirds. Um, uh, my whole family got to come. So that was the closest stop I've had uh, professionally um, until this year when I got to play in Trenton. But I got to have my whole family there. My grandparents got to come see me play. and. That was definitely something that meant, meant, meant a lot to me, um, just to play in front of them and to to see them all in the stands. So that was something I'll remember forever. Oof. I have a couple favorite. I think I think my top favorite. I like Angels in the Outfield. That's a really good movie. Um, I'm trying to think, what else? I have a couple different favorite movies. Hmm. Yeah, I think Angels in the Outfield would be my favorite baseball movie. Per well, perpendicular is would be this way, and then bisector would be where they cross. So how I would find the perpendicular bisector, I mean, I would guess that I would have to find the where the right angle is in the triangle, um, because I believe all triangles well, they obviously have three sides and two of them are the same length. Or, so there could be isosceles or, or no, obtuse or acute. So I would have to find out what, what it was to find where the right angle is. And then I think that would give me my perpendicular intersection. Sangulo, you're my favorite teammate. I know he wrote that in. You're my favorite teammate in Gulo. Well, my favorite subject, believe it or not, by that answer I just gave was actually math. Um, I was pretty, math was kind of like the only subject in school that I didn't have to like really pay attention in or focus in because it kind of came easy for me. Um, so. Yeah, math was definitely my favorite, but I was, I really liked science and stuff. In high school, I had a couple good science teachers that uh, chemistry and stuff was fun for me, doing all the different experiments and tests and all that. I, I really enjoyed that. I didn't enjoy writing the lab papers and everything, but 
the, the uh, experiments themselves, I, I really enjoyed. <laughs> that was a good question. Um, my favorite book growing up would probably be Oh, The Places You'll Go by Dr. Seuss. <laughs> no, I actually, so I was never, I never really read when I was a kid. That wasn't really one of my, one of the things I enjoyed, but I've gotten into recently, um, the past couple of years, I've gotten into reading books about uh, financial stuff and, and, and real estate and stuff like that. So I've been reading books that aren't really storylines and everything, but they're more about kind of trying to learn about what goes on in the stock market and stuff like that. But I don't really remember what my favorite book was growing up. Oh, I actually have a couple different things I'm thinking of. I really like Kanye West songs, so I was thinking about going with a Kanye West song. But um, Little Uzi just came out with a new song, and it's has some some vulgar words in it. But there's definitely a couple uh, clean parts. Um, it's called That Way. It's actually a remake of the Backstreet Boys, um, and I'm thinking about doing that as my walkout song this year. But I haven't I haven't fully decided. Um, I have a lot of time <laughs> on my hands to decide, so we're gonna see where it, what what it ends up being. Yeah, so um, I actually spent a lot of time, more than I probably would have wished to, uh, here in Arizona this year, because I had surgery on my thumb, so I did a lot of my, um, my rehab here. So honestly, it's just trying to find stuff to keep us busy, keep us outside. Uh, for, we actually, so we're not, we're no longer allowed to go to the gym or use uh, the Cleveland Indians complex here. So we actually built a little gym in my garage. Um, and so we're, we lift here. We actually, something that we like to do is we have like a small thin PVC pipe and little like golf size, golf ball size wiffle balls. So we go outside and we play games with those and pitch to each other and, and hit those all the time. Um, we love throwing around the football and just kind of kind of doing anything we can to, to stay active. We've done a couple different things. We've gone fishing, um, but now with this quarantine stuff, it's kind of kind of tough to find fun things to do, but just anything we can do to get out of the house. Like I said, just throwing the football around. Um, I live with Mitch Longo, Sam Henches. Um, so we go outside and we'll find ourselves throwing the football for, for an hour or so every day, just kind of kind of hanging out and trying to get in the sun and stay active. Um, well, I mean, I would, I would definitely say stay off your phone. I think that is something that we can all get, including myself, get stuck, get sucked into and with all the social media and everything. And I know everybody's doing the TikToks now. I haven't gotten into that yet, but I was thinking about starting, um, making some dances. Um, but I would just say, I mean, just find something to do with your family and with the people around you that you're, that you're with. The, we, even at night, we've started a 2000 piece puzzle um, just so we can all kind of hang out together. And we have a small group. There's four of us living in the house right now. Um, and just finding stuff to do where we're not staring at a TV screen or playing video games. Um, so we're doing puzzles, we play cards. Um, just find find something to do that you can, I think it's a really cool time for us to, to build relationships with people in our family that, I mean, even like my, my younger siblings, the past couple of years, I haven't really gotten to see them. So I'm really excited to, during the season, sorry, I haven't gotten to see them during the season. So, I mean, even Easter coming up here in a couple of weeks, like just being able to, to spend some time with them, have breakfast with them and just, just enjoy being around the people you love and, and finding finding things to do with them, things to talk about, games to play with them, rather than just sitting there and playing uh, Fortnite with buddies that you talk to all the time on Fortnite. 